What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brooksonic Universal TV cassette recorder from 1981. This came to me brand new from Brooksonic themselves. They seen my YouTube channel, they noticed I have a knack for vintage electronics, so they thought to send this to me, which I gladly accepted. Here's the box, pretty big box, but we'll see some of the features that are in this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, tape deck or whatever. There's a 5 inch TV, 3 band radio, cassette tape recorder, power supply, uses AC car battery, I think that's what that means, 9 D cells or rechargeable battery pack. Things that came in the box is the power cable, which I have it plugged in right now, car charger, a brand new vintage Maxell C30 cassette tape. And that's about it. So let's take a tour around this um, beast of a device and see what we have in here. As you can see right there, we have our earphone jack, auxiliary, I think that's auxiliary input. Um, there's microphone and there's a connector for the remote. Over here, you have the normal or charge. You can change your voltage depending on your region. There is another power input right there so you can use a different power supply I suppose on the back here this is where you put in your batteries so let me get this closed all right I'm gonna take a look around the other side there are settings for the TV you have the brightness contrast you got uh, the Regent, you got UK, e, uh, sorry about that, UK, EC, and USA, or US. Um, there's um, antenna uh, connectors right here, so if you wanted to, you can get an antenna adapter and hook this up to a video game system or VHS player if you want to kick it old school like that. There's some other settings right there. <clears throat> It's unfortunate that in the United States we had to turn off all our analog broadcastings. I don't know the reason because I felt like they were totally fine the way they were. That makes it unfortunate you may not be able to get any channels on this thing. But like I said before, you could connect something through those antenna connectors and you could run video games or DVD player, whatever you'd want to get that vintage feel. But um, let's start off with the my favorite part the cassette part oh yeah I forgot to mention too there's a handle on here so you can carry it on the go but um let's check out how this thing sounds I'm not gonna play too much cuz I don't want to get any copyright strikes but let's see how it sounds okay we're gonna hit play It sounds excellent. Very good sound, sounding cassette deck. I'm probably, and you guys are probably wondering, how does this thing record? Just before making this video, I recorded probably about 30 seconds of the radio. We're not going to even play that much because, yet again, I don't want to get any copyright strikes. But let's see how it sounds after recording on this device. And as you can tell, this thing actually records very well, given that it's all in one device. I got a lot of other all in one devices in the past and none of them sounded as good as this thing does when it comes to recording cassette tapes. So if you're in the market for one of these, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put where you can purchase this in the description below when it becomes available to me, where specifically where you could pick this up. Um, I would recommend it for the cassette part alone because it does sound good. This is a really loud speaker. I think it's a mono speaker, but it's very loud nonetheless and could make for a good vintage looking stereo if you want to run cassettes. And also if that's an auxiliary input, you could run your phone or what, whatever else you want on here as well. And it's, a, it, and it's definitely a conversation piece, I must say so myself. 
Um, we're gonna take a look at the radio real quick. At the radio function, let me try to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. Let me see. But yes, it sounds very good through the radio. So next, we're gonna test out the TV. See if we get any TV functions. I really doubt it, but we're just gonna shoot around and see if we can get something. But like I said before, for years now, analog has been shut off in, U in the United States. Oh, what is this? I'm actually getting a channel. You see that right there? I don't really got a good signal quality, but it's probably because I'm in my room. There's a lot of things blocking the signal. <clears throat> but there is a channel coming through there, as you can see. Probably needs to be fiddled with a little bit more, but um, I actually noticed this channel before I even did the video. And there was actually sound on that channel as well. So you could actually watch TV and get sound through it too. You hear the sound? So oddly enough, if you live in San Diego, you will get a analog channel, which is astounding. I thought they were shut off years ago, but you get one. There's no other ones but that one, but hey, take what you can get, right? Um, let's see, what else did I not show to you guys yet? Let's take a quick, a uh, little better look at the functions on here. There's your radio. You got your tone, you can change the pitch of your speaker, which is nice. You got your standard audio, I mean your volume. There's the band selector, you got the FM, SW, and MW. You got your TV function, you switch this to go to tape, and then you got the radio. But yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this thing up if you are a uh, vintage collector like me or if you just want to get into the cassette game because cassettes are becoming popular again. I would recommend you to pick it up for that. Just that alone because this is definitely a good conversation piece because you don't know who do you know that has something that looks like this. Probably nobody. And another thing I forgot to mention is there is a tape counter. So you can see how far along in the tape you are, which is also very nice. There's some information on the bottom. Just show you that. So then seeing everything that you would want to see, I would say. Sonic, I was able to get in contact with them and as they told me everything that you purchase from them they will honor the warranty so if anything goes wrong you can send it into them for repair or replacement and another thing I forgot to mention man I'm forgetting a lot of things but there's a microphone right there so you could record dictation or whatnot take notes vocally through the cassettes but yeah, that's about all I got for you today. But until next time, thanks for watching.